so you may have seen the video of making filament from the plastic bottles for 3d printers SPLA filaments are quite expensive hence it's a good idea to make the filament from the scratch bottles this way we can save the money as well as the environment but it needs a setup which is quite expensive so i decided to make a filament making machine with my 3d printer i will use this filament holder as motor mount this is a high torque geared motor i have got this from the coffee maker machine I have already made some holes to screw it on the mount. Fixing this setup to the side of the 3D printer. I will use this soldering wire reel to wind the filament. I have printed this piece to fill the gap between the pan and the reel. And the reason for using the pan is it has the hexagon shape which is the same as the gear hence it fixes nicely. Using a charging cable to power this motor. It will be more convenient to place this reel to the other side. It needs a support to hold the filament coming out from the nozzle. For that I am placing this pulley. I am making a 1 mm hole in the nozzle but the filament will be 1.5 to 1.7 mm thick as it expands after ejecting from the nozzle. We don't need this pipe so better I remove it. We have to remove the nozzle and before removing the nozzle must remember to heat the nozzle up to 100 degrees Celsius because the hardened plastic makes it difficult to remove the nozzle. And now we need a plastic strip and for that I have screwed this blade on the board to get the uniform thickness. Placing the strip on the nozzle for that I have made the thin end so that it can easily pass through the nozzle.
I will set the temperature at 250 degree Celsius. It should be a bit higher. Placing something to block the moment and also we have to block the Z axis or else it will slide down. I have made just a little bit of filament just as an experiment. The thickness is around 1.5 mm which is fine for the 3D printers. Now it can be used to make something useful but for some reasons my printer stops heating about 250 degrees celsius. Hence, I can't use this filament in my 3D printer as it needs 270 to 280 degrees Celsius to melt this filament. Okay, hope you like this video and sure to subscribe. See you in the next video.